Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? The ever impressive. But never duplicate. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Eric C. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. I have a little bit of an unboxing here to do, but what have I also been doing this past two weeks? Let's take a look. So the family and I went over to the root place and I wanted something that was going to be more modern uh, to now compared to something old style. So I picked up a couch, love seat, leather, end tables, cocktail table, new carpeting, refreshed the paint, ended up getting taking the entertainment center from the uh, family room and incorporating into this room it seems to match a lot better keeping the computer and the video gaming system inside this room here um, kids got a recliner where she could sit in to play her video games and it just worked out a lot better uh, in this room because we could watch movies or something while the kid wants to play her video games and not interrupt us uh, with wanting to use the TV or having to share the TV I also picked up this artwork that I think really matches the room really good the family room again new carpeting new furniture refresh paint um, it's got wallpaper on the wall so we really didn't have to do anything with that I wanted to have the room kind of incorporate the fireplace and kind of a little bit of a southwestern theme going on still I got my entertainment center inside there so I got my surround sound home theater system uh, picked up a leather recliner and this has got the power recline on it also with USB ports on it charging up your phone they also have cup holders on it so it gives you a little bit of those theater seating to where you got your cup holders each side of the chair has it the couch is basically a uh, love seat the couch itself was going to be way too big for this room again with the cup holders and both reclining chairs they also have cup holders on each corner of the chair. It seems like four cup holders for two people, you know. Uh, and there's the, the plug-in and USB port and everything for the rec power recliner. So what I wanted to do is make this into somewhat of like a theater room watching TV at night. So I'm going to try to make this room as dark as possible so you can see the effect I was going for with this, which actually worked out pretty good. Now. This room is a lot darker at night. I'm still getting light coming from the blinds, but when I turn on the can lights, I ended up fixing and installing new can light system. It's all LED now, and I gotta get dimmer uh, lights for this because the LEDs that I put bulbs I put in there aren't dimmers. Replace the can lights that are above the fireplace, and kind of highlighting the room a little bit now when the room is a lot darker and you turn these lights on there's more of a mellowish glow than anything else now we have the furniture covered up because of the dog that you saw walking around we want to scratch up the leather also the fluorescent lighting that we have that goes around the ceiling I'm going to end up replacing the fluorescent bulbs with colored LED bulbs so I could change the ceiling to whatever glow that I want to have as far as uh, just an overall kind of aesthetic look to it worked out pretty good uh, still kept the southwest look to, to it and uh, yeah so that's what I've been doing all right so like I say I have a little bit of an unboxing to do here this is something I picked up off of eBay it was a store return I picked it up for about 120 126 bucks something like that uh, I was supposed to have a outboard um, output jack problem and a little ding on the headstock. So let's see what this thing looks like. Oh wow, this is actually pretty nice. Eh, I guess you'd want to call it a Mitchell. So the thing on the headstock is very fixable, not a big deal at all. Yeah, that's not a big deal at all. I'm gonna have to use a little bit of epoxy to raise it up a little bit, but other than that, that's not a problem. Um, nothing going on with the neck. No, nothing going on with the neck. Yeah, so this is pretty nice. This has got like a, a flame maple, probably a veneer that's on here.
but it's got like a faux type of uh, binding where it looks like wood and it kind of carries on into the neck so this has a problem with the output jack and that's right here which is not that big of a deal Yeah, everything looks pretty good with it I like the green color all right so let's get a closer look at this Mitchell this is a Mitchell MS 450 it has a kind of a classic look to it also has a little bit of a Paul Reed Smith look to it as well considering it has the beveled edge over here where the horn is uh, giving a nice angle and it's also a different color from what the veneer is um, flame maple veneer countersunk controls push pull on the volumes and just one single tone Tunematic bridge brushed nickel look as far as the pickup scope giving it a little bit of a classic look the three-way switch is also kind of countersunk into the body this has got 22 frets they're jumbo frets uh, 12 inch radius neck this is the pole ferro something like that I think believe it is I, I'm thinking maybe I'm saying it right fretboard um, the inlays I like to call these like the uh, like tiger scratches it's got like two lines for all the fret markers the inlays now it's got locking tuners on here but they just call them high ratio die cast locking tuners it doesn't really give you like a brand name or anything of what they are and from how they feel they feel like they're they're kind of smooth they're not don't feel like cheap you know whatever tuners um this has got a neck shape of a 60s slim taper and you do feel it it does have a slim taper to it i like the way this neck feels on this guitar again um i don't know if i said it before but might be keeping this thing so looking at the fretwork itself the frets are oxidized a little bit so they're going to need some they actually kind of turned uh, kind of like a greenish look and of course on a lot of Les Paul style bodies the area that's closer or um, on the body itself the frets feel a little bit sharper than the rest of the neck so that'll have to be taken care of a little bit as far as this ding on the headstock that they were talking about now I've kind of looked it over and that's the ding that they got on the headstock so I don't know if you can kind of see the point of it is a little bit like chipped off and it feels like that there is a um, like the epoxy resin that I use it's what it feels like is on the top of this thing and because it's still black underneath doesn't look like bare wood I don't have to do any touch up as far as paint goes but I will be doing a little bit of epoxy on that area to bring back that the height of what's chipped and what's removed so that's going to be something uh, the back of the guitar not a big deal this is a mahogany body mahogany neck really not much to say here as far as anything goes it still has plastic on the back of here over here um, so I end up removing that a little bit of a belly cut again with the angled over here so you can reach those higher notes um, yeah I mean this is not a bad machine this is going to be pretty decent I kind of like the way the output jack is on an angle over here kind of like what Ibanez does and uh, yeah I don't know I might be keeping this thing adding it to my collection uh, I kind of like the way this thing looks again I picked it up for like a hundred and twenty six dollars I believe it was off of eBay the seller said that it was a uh, a return you know because the output jack was bad and they probably dinged up the net the headstock over at the store who knows but other than that it's got a very nice top on it um, very nice look to it the string through body um I, I like that a lot as far as like on a les paul instead of having instead of having a tail piece on there uh it just looks a lot cleaner shows more of the body itself and just gives it a little bit more uh character to it other than the classic look of a traditional les paul so yeah that's basically it here uh countertop is a little bit of a mess i've been working on the Kramer a little bit here and there every once in a while whenever I get a chance I picked up the Floyd Rose's uh, which this is they sent me the wrong ones these are the fat blocks so I got two fat blocks I put one on tried to see if it would fit as far as the uh, guitar goes itself and it is too thick 
So what I ended up doing is I picked up a couple more. Now these are not the fat ones. These are basically uh, uh, the thin, but I got a 34 and a 32. Also for the Les Paul Epiphone that I will be refinishing again, uh, I didn't like the way the striping came out. I picked up this set here, Roller Bridge, uh, fine tuning uh, tailpiece. That'll be also going on there. And I'm thinking about turning it into a single humbucker instead of a dual humbucker. So I'm going to go back to work on some of this guitar stuff and uh, see what if I can finish something at least because I've been kind of working a little bit on this, a little bit on that, and uh, not completing anything other than work around the house. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. I will catch up with you all later and uh, keep rocking on.